All right, guys, I'm gonna talk about a simple um, MacBook Pro external di display setup uh, for 2020. Uh, easy, very basic things needed. So this is my setup. Um, this is basically for kids, uh, for homeschooling uh, for 2020 style. So uh, pretty much this is a 1080p uh, HP display and uh, this is my MacBook Pro 13 inch. So um, to keep that things simple guys, so what I did was I bought this adapter uh, from Apple. Uh, it's a multi adapter. It's a micro uh, USB C, uh, USB C, HDMI, and a regular, uh, uh, regular USB port, uh, triple port. So pretty much very simple. So I connected an HDMI cable uh, from my Mac, from this adapter, connected to adapter, and connected back to the monitor. That's it. One cable, HDMI cable, to my MacBook Pro adapter, and back to the MacBook Pro. That's it. The, this black cable, nothing but a power cable that is going to my uh, charger is getting a triple charge um so and, and and that's pretty much it and that's pretty much gave me gave me this display right here and uh settings i want i, I didn't want a two display setting i wanted a simple dis one display to do not to confuse the kids so what i did was on the on the settings uh you go to display and then and then I went into gather arrangements and these are two options you can select. I selected mirror display. If you do that, then you're gonna have only one display rather than having two confusing display kids don't know which display is appropriate. So, so gather and uh, mirror display. So that's the best setting for me uh, to keep things simple um for now okay this is the day one of the setup i like it everybody likes it and uh and the workaround i i also i had an old logitech logitech uh, webcam i installed it on the main screen the larger screen so the kids can face forward rather than image coming from this side so that kind of helped out um yeah it's pretty much yeah it's pretty so this is my basic setup right now, minimalistic setup, small. The best Apple keyboard is very minimalistic. That's the only reason I got it. Um, MacBook on the side. Eventually I wanna figure out how I'm gonna probably end up turning this thing off, the MacBook Pro, turn it off and just use this as a main display and a keyboard. And um, and I like, this is cheap, a Logitech mouse and, and a pad, keypad and a mouse pad. Probably end up buying it white to go with the theme. So this is how it looks like a corner. This is my second office display for my second child. So pretty, I like it. I like it. Should have done it a long time ago. Can you imagine guys doing homework on this versus this 13 inch versus 32 inch? It's a huge difference. Uh, I will highly recommend uh, you guys, um, rather than buying a new computer, just buy a $250 a larger monitor. I, would, I should have bought a 4K would be better, but it's, it's, it's just expensive. And the, the, it's too expensive. So I opted to buy a 1080p and it's more than enough for um, a basic home. If you're non-professional, uh, it's all right. I'm not a professional or anything, basic computer user. Kids just need to read some books on this uh, display. So for them, it's adequate and uh, yeah, not much cable. Cable management, I'm not a very pro. One cable goes in and everything else gets plugged in. So that's pretty much it, guys. So 2020 MacBook Pro external display setup. That's pretty much it. Thank you. Bye.